Here is an outline of a series of events as catalogued by the Integrity Commission in their investigative report, which was tabled in the House on Tuesday afternoon. Nora Gay Banton has that report. The Speaker's troubles began following a referral from the Integrity Commission's Director of Information and Complaints. This after he submitted a letter to the House Speaker on February 14, 2020, requesting additional information about a Mercedes-Benz motor vehicle which the Commission believed belonged to the Speaker. The Speaker replied in a letter dated March 29, 2022, denying that she owned the luxury vehicle. Not only did the Speaker deny owning the vehicle, but she also requested that the Integrity Commission correct what she said was an error which suggested she did. However, the Commission had obtained evidence from Tax Administration Jamaica, Sajiko Jamaica, and an individual or organization whose name is redacted that she did in fact own the Mercedes-Benz from as far back as 2015 until it was divested by Mrs. Dalrymple Philibert in May 2022. This prompted the Integrity Commission to request an interview with the Speaker on February 27, 2023. In that interview, she was asked whether her declarations represented an accurate and complete representation of her assets. It was at this point the Speaker admitted recollection of a vehicle she stood as guarantor for, insured, but maintained she never drove. She also recalled in that interview that she'd received concessions on three vehicles, the Benz being one of them. That recollection would prove damaging as it brought into question why the speaker took a concession valued at $1.5 million for a vehicle she herself admitted she never drove. The speaker also admitted she did not have continuous control over the vehicle as is required under the provisions governing the concession. But the speaker's statement to the commission is contradicted by her brother-in-law, who not only told investigators that the speaker used the vehicle, but also clearly indicated the vehicle was owned by her. Her sister, Agnita Vera, also contradicts the speaker's account, indicating that Mrs. Dalrymple Philibert owned the vehicle and was in possession of it. While the vehicle does not appear on the Speaker's statutory declarations from 2015 through to 2021, the Commission alleges she signed documents related to the vehicle in 2016 and again in 2020. The appearance of her signature, according to investigators, leads to the inference that the Speaker was not only aware she owned the vehicle, but also played an active role in securing insurance for it. Significantly, the Integrity Commission says it's in possession of evidence indicating the Mercedes-Benz in question was sold two months after the Speaker wrote that she did not own the vehicle. Mrs. Darwin Philibert now faces eight charges under the Integrity Commission Act and the Parliament Integrity of Members Act. Norgay Banton for Nationwide News. So